guess who's back? So it's been a long time since I made one of these job interview videos and I've decided I'm going to start doing them again. I'm going to be sharing my job interview tips and what I got asked for a job interview at Baker's Delight. Now I did this interview in January of 2022 so it was just before year 12 for me. I did end up kind of getting offered the job. A lot of people ask me if I do get these jobs that I'm talking about. Okay, so the first thing about a Baker's Delight job interview is please apply in person. The number one thing from all my friends who work at Baker's Delight and everyone I know who has successfully gotten the role is that they applied in person. Baker's Delight doesn't have the best online system and generally, a lot of people do apply in store, so therefore, if they're going to choose someone and they someone else has quit and they need someone new, they're going to go to those physical copies of resumes that they have first. So one thing I would recommend doing is, whilst I say don't apply online, instead email them. So give them a physical copy of your resume and then also say, hey, do you have an email where I can also email you my resume in case you lose it? So that was a mistake that I made. I just gave them a physical copy and prayed for the best. But as someone who has worked in retail jobs where people come in and bring their resume, sometimes they do get lost, particularly if the manager isn't there. Baker's Delight is quite different because it is a franchise store. They could run completely differently to one in another area. Whilst they run on the same principles, they are slightly different. So I don't know if this is a Baker's Delight wide thing or if this was just the store that I was applying for, but they had set shifts and those were the same times every week. So that is something to keep in mind. If you do want after school shifts, they start at 4pm, which means that some students may be able to do it, but you might also not. One other thing is that they also always have an adult on shift and then they will generally have people who are under 18. So this is a great first job because they are looking for generally 15 to 16 year olds because you guys are cheaper. Given that, if you are 18 or older, you can apply for one of those more senior positions because they do always need the older demographic. Overall, the hours are pretty good. They close generally at about 6 p.m., which is great. And you get to take home pretty much as much bread as you want that's left over at the end of the day because all the bread is made fresh daily. And so therefore, they just throw it out or they give it to a charity. They do pay a minimum wage. So if you're looking for something that pays a bit better, Beggar's Delight probably isn't the best option. However, if this is your first job, it's a great place to start because they have really good hours, they're looking for school students, and they're willing to work around your schedule, which is great. Now on to the questions that I was asked at the interview and my general experience. So overall, it was a very casual interview. I think that I could have gone there with jeans and been perfectly fine. I would probably recommend maybe a nicer like jumper, like for example what I'm wearing, with some non-jean pants, if that makes sense. So, but definitely don't go too formal. It was not a formal interview at all. I had a one-on-one -on -one interview. I also know people who have had group interviews, so it could be either or. As I said, because Baker's Delight is owned by different people, the experience will vary a lot between store to store. But overall, I just sat down and had about a 15-minute chat with the person there, they were absolutely lovely and they didn't go through a formal interview process with me. So for me, they didn't have a set interview questions. Instead, we just had a chat, which sometimes can work really well in your favour. Sometimes it's not always the best because it doesn't rely upon your professional experience, which if you have a plethora of professional experience, you want to be able to show that. Whereas having a chat with someone, they can get to know you really well but it's more about you, which personally, I love this interview style. So basically I got there and the first question she asked me was, tell me about yourself. So to answer this question, first of all, I thanked her for the interview, which is always vital. I then talked about where I had worked previously and where I was working. I also talked about some of my strengths, choose things that are true to you, but also positive. So 
you might not be an outgoing person. Don't say you're outgoing if you're not outgoing. I talked about some things that I do outside of my working life and school life at the time. So after telling her a bit about myself, this was where we got chatting. So she started talking about her life, that kind of thing. As I said, it was a very informal interview, which is one thing that I really appreciated. And I think particularly if you don't have that professional experience, it's simply based on your conversation skills, which is really valuable. The next question she asked me was, why do you want to work at Baker's Delight? 99% of the time you're applying for a job because you've heard that it's good. So tell them that. They want to know that you like the product. Um, you don't want to be a vegan working in a butcher, as I have been before. It doesn't work out too well. So choose a job that suits you. I also talked about their community program. So something that's really vital when you're doing a job interview is to look into the company and what do they value. One thing about Baker's Delight is that they have this massive community program and that's one of their main focuses. So I talked about that. So the next thing that I was asked at the Baker's Delight interview was what are your strengths? Then I gave a example of this. I could list off a million traits that I have. But how does the interviewer know that you're not lying? What they need is an example. So I said, hey, I'm really flexible and versatile. For example, at my previous role, I stepped outside of my station and did X, Y, Z. And then this, blah, 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 blah. This is what you need to do. Then the next question, which pretty much every single job interview will ask, and particularly for my Baker's Delight interview, this was what we probably spent about 10 minutes talking about was my availability. Have this question response prepared. A lot of people will go, oh, I know my availability. So for example, I knew that I was in year 12. Realistically, I only wanted two to three shifts a week. I told her that and she said, hey, look, I'm looking for someone with three to four shifts. We had a discussion. We said, maybe it won't work. The main reason that I actually didn't pursue this role and didn't take the job was simply because of the hours. The thing was that we were able to discuss this. So I told her that I didn't want to work um, many hours. I told her maybe I could work a weekend or something like that. And so we tried to come to a compromise, but that was unable to be reached. And hence, we both decided in the interview that I was not going to take the role. And it meant that she didn't waste time. So be realistic. Don't overcommit. If you are in school, don't do more than 15 hours a week. So then at the end of the interview, um, I did ask some questions. So the main question that I asked her was, how can we compromise in terms of this availability? As I said, this role was at the start of year 12 and I felt like I couldn't commit to the hours that she wanted. And so we did try to work out a compromise, but ultimately we worked out that it wasn't right. And sometimes you have to do that. And you're better off saying no at the start than starting a job and realising that it's wrong for you. The interview was really good. As I said, it was very casual. It was a great process. I would definitely suggest applying in person and then following up on email with them. I think that overall they're a great company to work for, particularly if you are 15 or 16 and applying for your first job. A uni student, Definitely a good job, um, however they do only pay minimum wage, so that is something to keep in mind. If you do have prior experience, you probably would be able to get a job that has a higher hourly rate. However, if this is your first job, it's absolutely a great foot in the door and they have a really good training program. So if you do have an interview for Baker's Delight, I'm wishing you best of luck and I hope that it goes really well and that this helped you out a little. See ya.